Before you get started, think of this video as a FaceTime call with your bestie. And I'm giving you like some bucket list ideas. Hey besties, today I'm going to be reading to you guys my dream summer bucket list. First things first, I have make slime. This was a big trend back in like 2016, but now it's back just making slime without a bowl for whatever reason. I'll do a camera photo shoot. I've seen these all over TikTok. I've been wanting to try one, but I never got the chance to do it. Swim. I'm so happy I can finally use my pool after like months and months of construction. If you want to know what we um did, um, it's in the last video. So if you haven't yet watched the last video, I would recommend just going ahead and watching it. Along with swimming is to get a waterproof phone case. I obviously want to like film TikToks while I swim. And so that's a really great option to do. Scrapbook. Um, I did this last summer and I really enjoyed it. Pick berries. I've always seen like the cute Pinterest girlies do these and I really want to give it a try. I feel like it'll be fun. Color and coloring books. This seems really childish, but it's actually like fun and relaxing. And you get to like be creative and sh and choose colors and figure out where they go. And it's really fun. Party. You would know that I love parties if you've seen any of my 4th of July vlogs. Um, yeah. Try beachy makeup and hairstyles. This could be really fun. Because the summer is like known for the beach. And especially if you do like a sea blue eyeshadow, it could look so good. Also, I love experimenting with makeup. Go to the water park. Go to Disneyland. Again, kind of an expensive Go to North Ferry Farm again, another expensive one. Go to Gentle Barn or just generally any petting zoo in your area. Have a beach day. This can be really fun, especially if you find like a friend to go with you. Go to the farmer's market. It's really fun like looking around and seeing what you can find. Bake a cake. Outside camping. Siblings or friends. Watching a sunset. Cause like, why not if they're pretty? Create a playlist. This is more of like something you would do at the beginning of summer. Just like compile like a bunch of like vibey music into a playlist. And boom, you have yourself a summer playlist. The next thing on my bucket list is um writing letters to celebrities. You know, since I'm a Swifty, I'm going to obviously be writing a letter to Taylor Swift. Paint. Draw with chalk. It also can be fun to, like, try the elaborate chalk. Make s'mores. S'mores are delicious. Make bracelets. So we bring the 2016 Bisco Girl era back for summer 24 because as we all know, it was iconic. She was iconic. 
outdoor movie night. This can especially be fun if you like do it with some friends. Night swim. This can be really cool, especially if you have lights in your pool like I do. Watch a summer show. Like the summer I turn pretty, etc. Go thrifting again, I know. A super classic thing to do, but like, it's not my fault, it's iconic. Watch a stream of the concert, like, in my case, I would be watching the Aeros tour. Sunset walk. I've actually wanted to go on a sunset, like, walk, uh, in my case, will, um... But I haven't got the chance to. Do an art project. Hang out with friends. It's not even a question. Have a water balloon fight. Again, this can be really fun if you like do it with like your family and friends. Movie marathon. You could watch all the Mamma Mia movies, all the Harry Potter movies, just whatever your little heart desires. Have a barbecue. This can be fun with like your family or a group of friends. Front yard projector movie night. This obviously only works if you have like a front yard projector. Bye guys, I'm actually about to go ahead to dinner. So thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for part two.